HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we have scenes from the Hopkinton High School Annual Seniors Costume Contest, the latest on Hiller Sports, and a look at the Legacy Farms Cultural Club Diwali Festival. But first, here are some happenings in town you should know about. Hopkinton Public Schools is asking for the community's help by participating in a survey. The survey is anonymous and completely voluntary and can be found at our website, hcam.tv. The Hopkinton High School pep rally took place this past Friday. You can find a ton of pictures at our sceneinhopkinton.org. The Legacy Farms Cultural Club hosted a Diwali celebration at Keefe Tech High School this past weekend. Here's a look at the festivities. The Legacy Cultural Club hosted a Diwali celebration at Keefe Tech. Diwali is the five-day festival of lights celebrated by millions across the world. Here's a look at the festivities. interesting for me to see all um, all the Diwali celebrations going on around town um, I you know when I came to America 17 years ago um, it was very difficult to find events like this but uh, today here I am at the legacy Diwali party and um, this is just one of the parties going on in Hopkinton and it's very exciting for me to get a taste of Diwali right here which is something I really miss, having grown up in India with um, all the houses decorated just as they would during Christmas. And um, just a little taste of it. It's a little different than how we celebrate it in India, but this is our own, um, you know, American um, Diwali celebration. So that's what I love about it. Now, is this, is this particular celebration more diverse than what you would be doing if you were at home? Absolutely. Right, explain that. Actually, that's the best part about being in America um, that I have found is that it's um, you, you get to see people from all parts of India. If, let's say, you were in uh, growing up in Andhra, um, you know, which is a state in India, you would mostly be doing Diwali a certain way. Of course, if you're in cities, it's a little different. But here in America, you have people from every part of India. So you see Diwali Garba, you see Marathi Lavni, um, you see music um, tunes to Bollywood. You also saw uh, today a performance where the minions were involved. So it's such a beautiful um, mix of things, not just from India, but also American uh, aspects to it. So that's the part I really enjoy, that this is who we are, um, Indian American community. What do you think of the turn up that's been here? Oh my God, it's shocking, <laughs> shockingly beautiful. I think it's a great turnout. So many kids, so many families. You see grandparents um, and everybody dressed up so beautifully in the traditional attire. Uh, and an opportunity to just dress up like I have today, and I love that. So this is Diwali, which is a festival, 
and um, the Legacy Farms neighborhood. They are celebrating the Diwali festival here. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm here because I'm supporting an organization called Chinmaya Mission. Mm -hmm. And we run a Sunday school which is focused on Hindu and Indian culture and scriptures. And it's a school for children. It runs from pre-kindergarten right up to the 12th grade. And uh, this is out of Westboro. So there are a lot of young families here with young children. So that's why we have a table here to help to help the families find us. Excellent. So we are here celebrating Diwali, which is a festival of lights, and we are selling sweets, snacks, um, candies, mainly the live sugar can juice. I think we are one of the vendors in Framingham was doing the live sugar can in every event here. Go on it. That's it. <laughs> Shova Kanal Sharma. Uh, I work for New York Life and. Uh, you know, I like to do sponsorship for these kind of community events so I can educate people about like, you know, if something happened to them, how much they need to protect their families. And uh, I educate them to do the college education because that's our, you know, new generation. So they should be getting educated. So that's why I do college planning and all. So I try to come and, you know, try to um, educate our community people like, you know, we have to do financial planning and I help them to uh, educate about what is state planning, why they have to do it, uh, because they don't know. So, and you know, I live in this community, so I feel um, like, you know, proud that there are a lot of people are doing the cultural program today, and a lot of kids are in their tradition uh, clothes, and uh, they are doing good. They are, they are enjoying the culture. Hello! Hi! Can I be on the news? Coming up next, the latest on Hiller Sports, scenes from the annual Senior Halloween Costume Contest at Hopkinton High School, and Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider. A whole lot more ahead. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Help your community to collect food for the project just because Hopkinton Food Pantry, the Scouting for Food Drive. Place food items for donation in plastic bags near your mailbox by 10 a.m. on Saturday. Some items the food pantry is in most need of include gift cards, canned meats, gluten-free foods, baking items, paper and cleaning products, and toiletries. If you wish to donate but don't have enough time to shop, you can donate online. Thank you for helping our local residents in need. Welcome back to HCAM News. This past week, Hiller Golf competed in the Division II State Championship, and Hiller Girls Volleyball attempted to finish the season undefeated. Here's a look at what happened. Congratulations to the Hopkinton Hillers golf team. They finished fourth place overall in the Division II golf state tournament the hillers were just six strokes back of the winning spot the hillers golf team had a tremendous season going 16 and 1 overall during regular season play the hiller girls volleyball team recently played their final two games of the regular season this past friday was their final tvl matchup and Dig Pink Knight versus Ashland. Here's a look. Millie gets to that. 
Rachel bump set back to Millie. Great swing from Millie. Yeah, she got a lot of force behind that swing. Ashlyn had a double block set up, but Millie hit it right between them. Tied up at 18. Need a side out here. McDermott just thumps it to the back row. Ashlyn sets up, tipped by McDermott. Morgan gets to it. Angie outside. Millie down the line. Nice Great swing. Millie. Great side out. Bub checks back in. Dengel back to serve for the clockers. Morgan, great get. Outside, Grabmeyer. That's the first set. Hopkinton takes the first set, 25 to 21. Yadav gets to that. They go outside. Millie, Angie, back set. Mirabella. Good swing from Bellucci. Hopkinton well in control here in the second set. Just, oh, that was in. That was say, that That's was really the second close. set. Hopkinton takes 25 to nine with an ace from Morgan Allen. So. Morgan, Rachel, bump set, Grabmeyer, point. Rachel departs. Grab my artist here. They go outside to Z. That's out. Yeah. Mel handles that. She gets the ball back. Z calling for it. Just pumps it over. Mel, Angie, Sistari. Z hits the floor. They go in the middle. Sestari with a block, kept alive. Yadav, nice bump set outside. Net violation. McDermott. Or no. And blocked out wide by McDermott. Morgan. Angie in the middle. Kate Powers. Boom! Boom. Much needed point. That was clutch. Sophomore with a great hit. Lorette checks in. And this is who we want serving. Floats it to the back row. And they take their hitter out. Yadav just puts it over. Free ball. Morgan gives it to Lorette. Guess where she's going. Boom! <laughs> 25 24. Hillers at play. match point. Match point. You knew where that one was going. Yep. Rachel, outside. Mel, hey. what a hit. Hey. Hopkinton takes the Tri Valley lead. Hats off to the Ashland Clockers, though. A, a great season in league play. Absolutely, they know, fought hard at the end. I know Coach Warren will be very pleased with the girls' performance. To close out the regular season, the Hiller girls took on Frontier Regional and they took the sweep over Frontier Regional and the Lady Hillers close out the regular season at a perfect 18 wins and zero losses. The Hillers racked up 13 sweeps overall during the regular season and enter the Central West Division I sectionals as the two seed. The Hillers will next host an opponent to be determined on Monday, November 4th. The Hopkinton High School seniors came through once again this year with some outstanding costumes. Here's a look at the annual Seniors Costume Contest.
Programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is Matt Clark with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. 
I'm Matt Clark, and I'm here to tell you what's happening this week on HCAM. On Friday, November 1st at 9 p.m., Cheryl Peralt talks with HHS history teacher Brian Prescott on a new episode of Meet Your Neighbor. On Saturday, November 2nd at 8 a.m., tune in for some classic cartoon shenanigans with a new episode of Toon Time. On Monday, November 4th at 6.30 p.m., Mary McLeod talks with town clerk Connor Deegan and other members of the town hall team on a new episode of Senior View. And also at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers volleyball team compete in the first game of the playoffs, live on HCAM Ed. And finally at 8 p.m., Mary Anna talks with members of the South Asian community of Hopkinton on a new episode of All About Hopkinton. On Tuesday, November 5th at 6 p.m., the Hopkinton Select Board meeting will air live on HCAM TV. And at 7.30 p.m., the Conservation Commission meeting will air live on YouTube. On Wednesday, November 6th at 7 p.m., I host a brand new Geek Week on this week's edition of Wednesday Night Live. If you want to know more about all of HCAM shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv slash newsletters, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website for the latest happenings in our community and check out the Hopkinton community calendar to take a look at upcoming events in town. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care and be well.